Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to tailor Zuhu CRM to fit your unique business needs? In this video, I will guide you through the creating process of custom module on Zuhu CRM in 2023. You will learn how to define custom fields, set up layouts, and much more. So, let's get started. Start with this video. Make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, basically to create a custom module, you have to decide which kind of module you are aiming for. So as you can see here, there is two kinds of modules. There is the standard module and the custom modules or user generated modules. So each one has its own categories. As an example, for standard modules, Zoho CRM lets you work with more than 10 standard modules for sales, marketing, customer support, and inventory management. These pre-defined modules come with a set of default fields and layouts. You can edit most aspects of a standard module to suit your requirement. For example, if there is a field called Twitter in the leads module and you think none of your leads use Twitter, you can remove this field from the leads layout. So this is what standard modules will be looking like. And for the custom modules or user fridge generated module, this is the aspect of it. So sometimes the standard module, which is the predefined modules present in Zoho CRM, do not always meet your requirements in such as case. Zoho CRM lets you create a new module depending on your business needs, for instance, leads, contacts, and deals. Will not be ideal for an educational institution, of course, for the students. So to create a module, here we go, they have everything here set up for you. So to create a module, you have to log in into your Zoho CRM with administrator privileges. Then go to the setup, and then customization, and then modules fields. So let's do that. So as you can see guys, now I'm on, I am on the CRM Zuho. So what I'm going to do is go to here, click on these three points, and then create a new module. And as you can see, I have created my module. So now here I can literally edit, move and remove or add anything. So here I can add the image for, uh, so let's set permission, administrator, etc. Okay, let's keep it like that. So here the image of uh, the user. Uh, here the information, for example, that's its name. We can edit this, for example, here, edit properties. I can change it from this to this name, uh, and title owner, email, created by, modified by, email opt out. So here they have other things to add. So you can add all of these from single line, multiple line, email, phone, pick list, multi-select, dates, dates last time, numbers, auto number, currency, decimal, percentage, long integer, URL, checkbox, and much more. So you can go through all of these by your own guys and choose what you want. So let's try to make a custom model for us. So in your case, if you'd like to make a quick create, you can use this tool. But for us, we will take it slowly and create our uh, field by our own. So first of all, I will need, for example, name. So here it is. Uh, I can edit the properties and I will edit this to be a maximum of characters 120. Do not allow duplicate values. And let's keep it as it is. Here, let's do the same thing. Untitled owner. So here, add field to lookup module add fields and here I can add um, like streets as an example save so here it will be added like kind of like a sub module that will be added or a sub field that will be added right after the answer on this question here uh, in case they had like an email let me just change this actually to um, main email so let's keep it as email not secondary email so we can just click here and change it so i will make it required and do not allow duplicated values here we go now for modified by i will remove this uh, here set permission read and write read only uh, or don't show so here in case you'd like to hide uh, this uh, for example, this property or this field, you can actually remove it if you'd like. Uh, but come on, guys, uh, I'm not going to add it in case I'm not going to use it. So that's why there is no point of hiding it or something like that. So I'm going to keep it. And for example, let's say that you are done with this. You don't need to add anything else. Let's say that everything is perfect for now. So what you have to do is simply go ahead and click on save. Then 
give it a name so let's give it a name as field or module test copy this paste it here save and here we go so we have created it successfully you can now click here let's close this and later on you can just come back here and re see it so as we did here the same thing that we have done so simply this is all you have to do to create a simple module you can get to do more things if you read this and as you can see there is event information so there is so many things that you can add to the module fields so you can just any idea that you have in your mind you can put it in this field so there's no problem with that and once you created your field as i said you can just save and close and everything will be ready for you to go you will find your module over here and the status is now defined uh, as on it is working and simply now you can go back to it if you'd like later on to edit it remove it or do whatever you'd like to do with it here you might find some other modules that have been created by default as this leads so if i clicked on it and i want to uh, edit layout this is the leads and this is how it looks like so these are some kind of pre-made uh, modules for you uh, that you can actually use them in your future projects instead of creating it from zero you can just have this one edit some information of it and then all you have to do is save it and you will have it ready for you to start with it and to work with it in your future uh, projects so there is not only leads there is contacts account deals task for example let's go and check uh, accounts so here i'm going to click on edit layout and here it is this is how it looks like for a quick create um this is how it looks like and for detailed view and how it's gonna be looking like for the people this is how it's gonna be looking like so this is like a detailed view for you to see and to decide if you like it or not and here you can edit as i said everything some of them you can't really remove them as you can see these reddish ones you can't really uh, remove them since they are uh, permanently in this field and they are necessary to be in this field but otherwise if you start with a blank module you will not find this problem you can edit literally everything and remove everything and configure everything as you'd like to be and yeah guys that was it for zuho uh, crm and how to create custom modules so it was as simple as that you just have to go to your account click here into this other modules and then create a new module and then you have it uh, for you created you just have to design it put the fields customize it as you like and you will have everything ready to go so thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial Bye bye